All right, y'all. Here again. You know, I haven't gone nowhere. I'm still here. So anyway, before we jump into this video, guess what I want you to do? I want you to go to the link, the description box, the link in the descriptions, and check out all my books. Yeah, whatever book you like, you know, that fits your, you know, your lifestyle or what you got going on or whatever situation that you got going on. It's there. I write enough books for it. And keep in mind, you're not alone. What you're going through, you're not the first. You're not the first. So go to the link in the description. Check out one of my books. And I greatly appreciate it. Now, let's jump into this video. So anyway, talk to people from around the world from different walks of life. They want to know. Okay, if my ex jump into this other off-brand ass new relationship over there, is 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 can they fall in love with this person? Yes. They can fall in love with this person. Your your ex human, I know over the years that you know I said, you know, rebound relationships are not love. Uh majority of them are not love. They not. They just dead just for, you know, they look for help. Or they're just trying to make you jealous or, or just trying to get a reaction out of you. But then again, those it's it's those that does work out. You know, some of them do work out. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Now the first sign of your ex taking the ass over there and then working out is because the reason why is because the investment they put into that relationship. They invest in that re relationship. They're like, okay, what do you mean re investment? They invest their time, their energy, you know, their money, you know, they going out, they, you know, meeting their family and all that stuff like that and doing, you know, probably taking care of your own, probably taking care of the, um, the painkiller kids and all that stuff, even though you they got kids with you. Yeah, they got kids with you. They neglecting little Crayola and all that stuff like that and little Ray Ray and they can't make time to go to, the wick appointment that you set up with Miss Fox, they don't have time for that. They invested more time with you know the painkiller kids. You know they taking the painkiller kids to get their hair fixed and new shoes and all that stuff and washing their face and putting that good lotion on them and stuff like that. Got them smelling good. In the winter time, they got the brand new coats and stuff like that. And the kids that you have with this person, they don't get no coats. Or they got an excuse to give you like, oh, I don't have no money for this and I can't go and get the kids this weekend. I ain't got no gas. And I, you know, you know, I ain't got no driver license. You know, they got roadblocks and, you know, I, you know, they're looking for me and, you know, all sorts of excuses and stuff. I got to get my hair fixed. I got to get a new bond or some sh stuff like that. I got to I got to get some new Adidas flip flops or some kind of excuse to give you. So. The first sign is they put in way more time and investment in that rebound relationship. That means they fall in love with this person or are in love because they want to be around. See, remember, the things people care about and love, they want close to them. And they spending all their time with this off brand ass person over here. That's a dead give us a dead giveaway. They, they really fall in love with this person or already in love with this person and stuff like that. The second sign is this, kind of going, you know, related to the first one. They making this painkiller and whatever the painkiller got going on, their priority, number one priority, pretty much putting them on a pedestal. Like whatever the painkiller says, I got to do. Whatever the I, whatever I got to do to make this painkiller happy is number one priority. You know, there's no me without you type stuff with them. You know, every time you see them, you know, see one, you see the other. You know, they like the little Simon twin joint at the hip or some shit like that. You know, they making it, they making the life over there with the painkiller a priority over you and whatever you got going on. See, the painkiller represent a fantasy world uh, and a, some kind of escape from reality. So they can go over there and build on that fantasy world and escape from reality from you, you know, and that's they making that number one priority. They becoming friends with the, the painkiller family, you know, the painkiller family. See, you know, your ex is, oh, man, you know, a good person. 
you know, a, a good God fearing person, you know, but little do they know, you know, narcissistic, social path ass people, they come in disguise. They don't come with a sign around their neck like, hey, I'm a narcissistic social path. I'm here to manipulate you. They don't do that. They, they time that shit out. Like, okay, I done got what I want. I done conquered this person. This person bored. Ain't nothing else they can give me. I done got what I want. <sighs> okay. That's how they operate. But until they get what they want, man, they your man, they the, your best friend. They camouflage into your environment. They they can't do no wrong. You know? So they keep doing that until you know, until they can't do it no more. So the best thing to do is don't worry don't worry yourself about what they doing over there. Cause you can't say the y'alls. It don't matter what year it is. It can be year 3030. And if I, a hologram version of me pop up, I'm going to still say the same thing in my hologram. Don't save the hoes. The hoes are incapable of love. They don't love nobody but themselves. And they barely do. They barely love themselves. They can't be alone. I will always say these things. So why worry yourself about a person who is incapable of love, really? They can, yeah, they probably can go through the motions like autopilot, but sooner or later, they're going to just come to their true self. They kind of like that dude in that movie, Stepdad. Or like the old, I mean, like the older crowd that get it, but the younger crowd, like, what the fuck is Stepdad? It's a movie that came out in the 80s where this dude. He was pretty much going to family. He pretty much won a family. He was a psychotic killer and stuff like that. So he played the role until he got his family. His family disappointed him, killed the family. I can't say kill him, but he delete the family. You know, he know a live them or whatever the fuck you say. But anyway, the last sign is this, that they is in love with the painkiller and they forgetting about you and they not worry about you no more or they you know they're doing what they're doing over there is this if you ever bring bring up this new person the painkiller the substitute teacher this off-brand ass person this goddamn home wrecking ass person whoever they might be and stuff like that you ever bring them up watch how they get mad and start defending them they're going to defend them. See, if they didn't give a shit, you know, like, you can say anything about them. You know, I ain't got no love for that person. You can say what you want to say. I don't say on whatever. But if they care about that person and they might have a little bit of love in their heart for them and their little black heart, they, you say something about them, watch how, they, watch how they defend them and go off on you. Watch. Just watch. That's why I say, just don't don't feed into that stuff. See, they live in a fantasy world. And when you try to say something against their little fantasy world, their little ro fantasy romance world, they're going to attack you because they believe that lie. They believe that fantasy. They fall in love with the lie, the lie that they doing good, that they can have a great relationship outside of you. Anyway, my, my lips look white as fuck. Anyway, so... Don't scratch that. But anyway, I can do it to talk about this for another eight more years. But if you need to get in contact with me and tell me your story and tell me what's going on, but trust me, what you're going through is not new. It's not new. You know, no matter, I'm always be here. Even if you see a video six from five or six years ago and they have my email on there and my number, send me, shout out, send me an email, tell me what's going on. Um, text me on WhatsApp so we can set up a time to talk and tell and you can tell me what's going on. If you don't want to do that, guess what you can do? Go to the link in the description. Yeah, go down there and click on the link and check out one of my books. Yeah. Yeah, check out one of the books. Take your ass over there to Amazon or Spotify. Or whatever audio book service they have. You know, Audible. Some of my books on Audible. But I don't like Audible. But yeah, take your ass over to Spotify. And listen to my goddamn 
you know, podcast or go to Rumble and listen to um, Coach Dove and stuff like that. Now, with that being said, take care of yourself. Watch out for one another because it's crazy out here. Stay up. Peace.